All right, and welcome. Here we are. We are here in the comfort of the hot tub in blistering Florida right now, and uh, we are coming. I thought if we were going to do a Universal Yums box, we might as well do it someplace we like, and here we are. Uh, so we have the Universal Yums. That's actually a subscription program. You can sign up at universalyums.com, and basically you give them your money, and they send you a box of snacks from somewhere around the world. So we're going to take that virtual trip here today. All right, I am joined here today by Venus and Tim. Of course, I am Bare Bones Fossil here, so we are going to take you along on our little culinary journey and, uh, and go look. You want to take a look and see what we got? You want to see what country we're traveling to next? Let's see. Oh, and it's backwards. Greece. Whoa. We are going to Greece. Yep. Not, not, the, not the stuff that comes off a of hamburger meat. We're talking about the country now, right? G-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. Yep, and some of the cities in Greece are Oh, good Korea, luck with that. <laughs> Athens, Gallicos, Litoshoro, and Beria. I don't believe I've heard of any of those but Athens. Athens, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then it's got even it's got some express yourself the Greek way. Oh, what yeah. is Oh and God. Has symbols, has letters. Yeah. So you have no idea. <laughs> we have no idea. No, nothing. <laughs> no idea. Prost. <laughs> <laughs> From the last one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, and it's cool because you get you get the little deal in here. It tells you a little bit about the country, little odds and ends, and then it has a place on the back where you can record your snacks and make little notes about which ones you like and which ones you don't. Use the authentic Greek to talk about it. Whatever that is means tasty. Yeah, but look at it. It's like it looks like a revoltios. Yamas. I'm just gonna say yamas. Yamas. Yeah, yeah, it looks like cheers. And then it's got the little book with some trivia and what every everything in the box. All the different um, snacks in the box. Including the nutrition stuff, if you're looking at that sort of thing. Tell you the calories, yada, yada, yada. And most importantly, the stickers. The stickers, that's right. <laughs> but this one's cute. This one's got like little emojis of like, if you love, if you love the snack, if you hated it, or we even got the wow. I uh, know I see that. It's like, I am surprised. But, uh, what, what is, is that? that? Oh, olives? Olives. Oh, I thought that was like somebody's green butt. <laughs> Sticking up in the air, but anyway. And it's got like a like a creek um, from Athens, like a the vessel. Yeah, like a creek it looks vessel. like a Viking ship. Though. Yeah, and then also has some things that says "fit for an Olympian." Ah. Positively ambrosia, ambrosia. So if you don't want to write, you can actually take out the stickers and put them on your little note section. Greeking out over these. <laughs> this I'm one out, is dude. no. Why did I eat that? <laughs> yeah, uh, we probably will have at least one of those here at some that's point funny. today. That makes me that makes me nervous. <laughs> if there's something in there that's going to make me go, why did I eat that? All but right. well, we'll see. Okay. All right. If you want to dig right in. Oh, I gotta go for the bruschettini. What bruschettini? Bruschettini, Mediterranean pita. Oh, that looks good. Now, see, when you first were starting to say that, I was thinking of what is it, bruschetta? Isn't that the bruschetta? Is usually like a piece of cracker with tomato and cheese, and some people put balsamic over and, it. And bottom line, it's delicious. Yes. So when yes. you said that, I was thinking, yeah. oh, we're going to have a cracker with those flavors, but apparently, I maybe, think I don't know. Maybe. Kind of looks like a cracker in there. All right, crunchy bites with tomato, olive, and oregano. One food all Greece can agree on is crunchy bread. Ooh, I agree with them. I like that crunchy bread. Um, the beloved twice break bread was originally made for ancient sailors, soldiers, and shepherds due to its resistance to spoiling. And not really a whole lot else to say. This is a finger licking bruschetta inspired snack. So hot dog, hot dog on that. No, hot dogs probably taste totally different. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's a pretty little cracker. <laughs> it looks like a little toast. Such a dainty little. <laughs> that looks like what you'd find in a uh, salad or in a Chex Mix bag. Mm. I need to taste some flavor. You can taste, taste the oh, you can taste the olives. I taste the oregano too. I taste the olives. Mm. You don't taste oh. the olives? Oh, I do, but I, I don't taste any tomato. No. That's a good cracker though. It's yeah. crisp and light. And, hmm. It's pretty good. Okay, your turn. All right. I get to read. Uh, no, let's just grab one. All right. This is waves. Waves oregano. It says potato chips and oregano. Totis waves. Best way to start off your adventure through Greece is with a bit of joy. That's what they say about <laughs> these chips. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a long, that's a long line to, to have to live up to here. Oh my God. 
This has a lot of flavor. So it's got a lot of oregano in it, I guess. It does. Woo, that smells strong. They're very strong tasting. I think I would say hmm. this is no, it's like what was it? Why did I eat that? <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. That's that's <laughs> actually kind of a good flavor, but you're right. It's, it's strong. Too strong. It is very strong. It's too strong. Well, they say it's dusted with the oregano is dusted on top on top of it. That's a lot of dusting in there. That's very strong. <laughs> Here, like start filling the Close mountain of joy uh -huh. for yourself because it's mountain Olympus. Mm. I don't know. I give that a thumbs up. Or a, what is it? What was this? What was the word? Gordos or tapas or whatever they said. Yeah, I didn't like that one. All right. Cool. So Timmy. Timmy gets to pick. What? You want to get closer? What? I saw basil. Basil. What's it? Called? Mini breadsticks. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a flavor fit for royalty. Open this bag and you'll notice one thing, the scent of basil. Whoa. So uh -oh. we already had our scent of oregano, so now we get a scent of basil as well. This wasn't uh, breadsticks. Yes, it is. That's a piece of bread. My right? gosh, that is the tiniest breadstick. It's, it's a, it, well, look, doesn't it say mini? Yeah. It says mini breadstick. That is a mini. Hold on, I'm trying to get it. My hands are wet. What? Here, you want one? I've, I've caught something interesting here. Now I can't find it. Uh, oh. It says some scholars believe uh, we're talking about. Oh my God! We're talking about basil now, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some scholars That's believe something. that it was only harvested by kings using royal golden scythes, mm. who used it to make perfume. So they didn't even eat it. They used basil for perfume. And the basil comes from the Greek. Of course, I can't say it. Basil icon futon. Futon <laughs> sounds like a okay, but anyway, it means raw plant. So, a lot of royalty involved in this. Tell like basil though. And the last one was really talking about Mount Olympus and the gods. Hmm. Hmm. How'd you think of that one? You like it's that pretty one? dry. <laughs> Here, maybe this is. It's be a good flavor, but it's pretty dry. I'm gonna try. It looks like Serenata Millefuile. Croissant with milk cream filling. Of course, that's close to that's in the Mediterranean. Maybe you're onto something. It looks like a cream fill croissant. Hmm. Well, well, how could you go wrong with that? Now, now I know why I don't go back to Greece that often. Why? Because everything's very strong is it tasting. Coffee, coffee tasting. <laughs> Breakfast is the most important <laughs> meal of the day in the U.S. But in Greece, it's pretty much non-existent. What? No breakfast? Save, really? save for a cup of coffee. <laughs> that sounds like me, 100%. With right 9 there. p.m. dinner time. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I could not. That, mm. That's rough. That's Well, I mean, I've done that. So, locals will enjoy like late morning snack called whatever this is. <laughs> oh, no, I'd do that. Called Serenata. 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 Oh, geez. Look at that thing. See, look at it. That's it's, where this... It looks like a biscuit. croissant it's filled a croissant. with decadent cream come in perfectly. Hey, good luck they with that. They eat about 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> now I may have to go with what you said on that last one. It's like, it looks good, but there's not as much filling. That feels like a, a, a roll well, out of a is. bag. Did you get some cream? Yeah, there's okay. some in there. I'm trying to get some cream. That is, that is crazy. It's like, it's like really, really soft. I mean, it's like oh, there's no flaky to that, that whatsoever. Mm -mm. Huh? Tastes weird. Hmm. Tastes like alcohol. Tastes like, yeah, kind of does. <laughs> Tastes like a biscuit. With alcohol. With alcohol, with a shot. You dip, you dip that. I wonder why. Dip that in your crown, and you'll be good to go, right? It's supposed to be mm. cream filled, but to me, it tastes like. I would say rum. Tastes like rum. Yeah. That's weird. Well, the Mediterraneans are ro known for their rum. <clears throat> wow. Not. I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. Mmm. I believe. Mm. I just left that one lie right there. <laughs> I still swear that that feels like going in the grocery store and open up That's their you. bag of biscuits. Me read, me read. You oh, pick. Oh, so I'm picking. Ooh, almond Ooh, baklava. baklava. Hopefully that will offset what we've already had here. Almond baklava, Greece's nutty take on flaky classic. When exploring Greece, there are a few things you must do. See the Parthenon. Soak up the sun on a wild sand beach and try baklava. Oh, <gasps> dropped it. Oh, that, that's because he doesn't want us to have any because he loves baklava. 
They are good. This is so <laughs> sticky though. Oh wow. It is unbelievably sticky. I'm good not having it then. Uh, uh. Well, there's no escape for you, Timmy. Oh, geez, there's like, oh, there's like Jesus. honey pouring off of the thing. We're gonna have the bees coming and attack us. I'm glad I got new screen. No, but you have to turn it around. It's on a bowl and that's the bottom, ain't I it? I know, and the bowl is nasty. So imagine what the rest is gonna be like. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna get that out Here. because oh geez. I can dig out a little bit. Look, see. Because it's gonna. Oh. I just leave it just like that. Came out pretty good. Mmm. And give me something to put my biscuit in. Only the bottom layer is stuck to the thing. Then you can. Hmm. You can flip it around if you like. That's well. It's like like all the box of I've had. Mm-hmm. It's good. Very flaky, a lot, a lot of layers. A lot of, um. And very sticky. Very, we are. A lot of honey. Oh. I'm gonna. <laughs> try to cheat here a little bit. Yeah, cause that was like, that was like coated. Okay, and put it over there. Now I gotta pick something else. No, nope, my turn. I like the other box better. <laughs> this one's too sweet. I was so busy opening it. Oh my God. I guess you read the oh my God. Right. I didn't hear uh -oh. <laughs> Here, let's put that over there. There's like with the biscuit. Honey in here. There you go. All right, that's your box. What box? Oh, you got Look. a box. I see what that is. I have no clue. Almond short. <coughs> Ooh. Hold on. Got a little baklava in your throat. Yeah, almond kurab. Would you like bites one? Bites cookies. <laughs> a Mediterranean classic. If these cookies look familiar, that's not too surprising. Sugar-coated almond cookies are a common treat all across the Mediterranean. Be messy. Particularly Probably. in Turkey and Greece, but these were subtle difference between Turkish kurabai and these Greek kurabids. And that's their shape. Oh, and that's their shape. Oh my. Oh Wait, my you didn't God. even open it. No, that's why I gave it to you. I was stuck and I wasn't going to... Um, oh, Make sure geez. you put it over there. You're going to have sugar all over your hot tub. Oh, God. Those are huge. That's a lot of powdered sugar. Is that sugar. just one? No, there's no, four there's, squares. Yeah, there's four oh. in there. So, Gee whiz. I just want to take a bite. These things... Oh. Yeah, these are the you messiest have to, thing like, in the You to go bag. like that. Hold on. Can we just split one? Yeah, you want to take a bite, I'll take a bite. I don't think I want to rest. I'll be no mouth full of dry powder. Come over here. It's like wedding cake. It looks like you need to come over here. Does it? Wedding cookie. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Oh, it is pretty good. Things disintegrate. And it's got a wafer in the bottom. Look at the bottom. I look like mm. a wafer. It's actually pretty good. Boy, that was dry though. I'm dry. I, I like it better than the other things I eaten. Well, then you don't get no more baklava. You can have the baklava. No, the baklava is too sweet for me. Oh, look at all this. <laughs> I know, that's why I was trying to eat it that way. I'm gonna have a film on here. Okay, I read it, so now it's your turn to read that thing, right? So I'm picking her? Yeah, you're picking. I'll go with the bag. And if you haven't seen this, it comes, a lot of them come with this little yum bag, and it's just chock full of little, little goodies, usually two or three kinds of different candies. So. And one thing that it came with this time, it's not candy. It came with Greek alphabet flashcards. Oh, we got to do open that in a minute. <laughs> See, I was, I was both physics and calculus, so I should know some of those. Oh, others. okay. And this one's got two different things in there. If you want to separate them. Pomegranate jelly candy is tart, oh. sweet, and deliciously oh, soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And majestic rose toffees made okay. from real tree resin. I'll be able to tree resin. <laughs> you make that up, or is that what it says? The coffee is <laughs> resin. <laughs> Isn't that sap? Yeah. This is actually they, yeah. they yeah. tap the tree. And well, not this one. The toffee was right. Which one's made out of fruit? The toffee. The toffee. Well, not is, this one. What is this? This, this is a this fruit is juice? pomegranate jelly candy. Oh, jelly. It's tart a jelly. Sweet and just really soft. Yeah. They can get that into a tomb. He'll eat it. It's okay. This jelly with sugar on top. Oh my god. It's like too sweet for me. It reminds me of an orange slice, but with a different flavor, obviously. With a lot of sugar. Well, orange slices have sugar, raw oh sugar. Oh my god. Hmm. I don't know. Are you eating it? Mm -hmm. What do you think? He's laughing. Are you laughing at the other one? He's tasting the resin right now. No, that's the that's coffee. The next one. That's the nice one. That's that one. This one's made out of trees. Is that what you're saying? Sap. Sap. Isn't sap? 
Okay, the liquid that comes out of a tree. Well, think about maple. Maple yeah. sap that comes out mm -hmm. of a tree. But then also think about creosote, That's which weird. comes from a tree also, it right? Looks, it's it looks flavor like a is similar to pine. Like a or something. Really? Make sure you take the. the I just cup. saw that. I almost popped yeah. that in my mouth. Yeah, it's With a hint of something that's hard to define. Oh they didn't god. say what it was. Oh my god. Got, creosote. It's got paper. It's hard to get the paper off. Yeah. Oh, damn I'm it. my teeth. What? What is that? You got it in the in the hot tub? Yeah. I think it's got licorice inside. Oh really? Or it tastes like what? Oh, it tastes like oh god. That's a weird. Oh, sh oh sorry. Filler <laughs> that out. Bleep that. Hmm. I don't like it. Hmm. What do you think it is? It's kind of a nasty flavor. Mm-hmm. It's like chewing on balsa wood or something. It reminds me of like black licorice or that licorice whoosh, candle. whatever. Candle wax. No, no, no. It's like my I can see the candle wax part of that. I was thinking the black licorice or like, what's that drink with the gold thing is inside? Yeah, Jagermeister. Yeah, to me it tastes like Jagermeister. Well, that's definitely licorice flavor your Jaeger, but I don't, I don't taste the licorice in this. I'm tasting. I don't like it. It's almost like chewing on a toothpick or something. It is. I swear there is. You can taste. I think. You know that candy that comes in a drink to get the wax bottles. Oh, mm -hmm. those. No, but I think when it says, "Why did I eat that?" That's definitely that one. Yeah, that, I don't uh, think it's too bad. Oh, well, that's weird. Oh, it just so happens. What? We got another one for you. <laughs> okay, so this one was better. Let's put this. I'm not going to run and eat by it no. either. Okay, but so now I know what to get you for Christmas. But I know it's not. It's not terrible. Which one you just want? Something like this. Or like. Tim? Or who's next? I don't know. Oh, Tim. What do you want to do? This? Those first, and then Look the cookie. That. Because that looks awesome. That's made out of cactus. Prickly pear delight. <laughs> you know, I've eaten prickly pear. Oh, have you? Yeah. I haven't. But it wasn't really good when I did it. Oh, it wasn't good? <laughs> well, I, I took a pocket knife and cut off the thorns oh, of a nettle. And then you skin it while it's still on oh, there. Wow. Then you cut the piece off so you don't stab yourself. And it tasted like grass, best I can remember. It says prickly pear lukumi. Greek candy inspired by cactus fruit. We know that you're thinking, why is there Turkish delight in the Greece box? Well, both countries were once part of the Ottoman Empire, so they have a lot of cuisine in common. Sounds Turkish like cop delight. Out. Cop out to me. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully it tastes... Oh, I think I've, I've had something like that, but not that flavor. Well, from that a different they country. have it in Turkey and Greece. Yeah. You can yeah. get it in a turkey yeah. box. So I think on the turkey box, or we have something similar oh, to it. Now that, that yeah. would be pretty chintzy. In my mind, it's like well, we got we over ordered Telemich from Greece. Oh. But, well, the only difference is it might have two different packages. Well, I've never had the cookie pear, it was a different flavor. You know, this is not this almost oh, looks like see. the one thing we oh, had. Oh, Jesus, be careful, it's got sugar all over the, the place. Um, that one's got two, I think. That little thing that was gel like that we had. It was okay. Hmm. Very sweet again. Didn't taste like the one I ate. The cookie pear? No. Mm -mm. It tastes like sugar to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roman's it's kind of a gummy anyway though, right? I actually Something? like like this better. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll eat that before I eat I that. Can, I can see where he's coming from though. I, well, that's because I want like extra sugar. Oh my god. I think I'm having one. Having a fit? I don't have diabetes, but I think I'm going to sugar that <laughs> sugar. <laughs> All right, you get the last one. You get the other. It's a the cookie. It says kings with oats, soft cookie, orange and dark chocolate chunks. Hmm. Morning blast. All right. In Greek mythology, there are many stories involving the garden of Hesperides. Hesperides, whatever. Hercules challenged to steal a golden apple from the garden. Um. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Ooh, but wow. many modern versions claim they weren't apples; they were oranges. Hence this cookie. Hercules endorses this cookie. Orange cookie? Well, we're not saying that you should compare the two. Oh, don't what? compare apples and oranges. Uh, 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 we do believe these tender <laughs> oat cookies are tastier than their current citrusy flavor as opposed to an apple one. There it is. I got it out in one. Cool. Now, I'm trying to break it and it would like disintegrate. On it. Oh, wow. It's very orangey. Here, yeah, you both like cookies. <laughs> No cookie for you? One I just want you. a bite. 
I was just going to take a little bite. Because you're the ones that like cookies. I don't. Here. Enjoy. It's like, cookies are like pie. Everybody should enjoy them. Yeah. Oh, boy, that orange comes out quick, doesn't it? Very orangey. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. But it's still, I'm glad I'm having like a... Okay. Everything's so sweet. There's a lot of sweet here. Mm-hmm. So apparently grease, well, again, you don't know. This is just the snacks they chose to mm -hmm. send us. Let me see. Let me I see don't taste a strong orange. You don't? Oh, I did. It tasted like biting the peel. Yeah. Mm. For me. Mm. It's orange with chocolate and oats. So these have these have all these little cool Greek symbols. What does that mean? Of course, I told I had, don't have quite right taste buds, too, so. Well, you couldn't taste the ketchup, and you couldn't taste the orange. So here you got... See, now, if you were big into sororities and fraternities, what? you should know all these. What was that supposed to I don't to know be? what that one is. Of course, that's Omega. Omega. Yeah. Ta-da! Oh, okay. That's X. The X Factor. <laughs> oh, oh, what would that be? Oh, that also means 10. It also means no, the number 10. Uh, What's well, the game no, that play? No, no, it's a... It's, it's a, a it's strike! A, it's a Greek letter. Holy strike! <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I'm, what is, there. Well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. It might be number 10. Chai. Oh, Shy. Oh, Shy Alpha, alpha. Omega? Alpha? No. Is that Alpha? Alpha? Beta. Beta? Oh. Epsilon, maybe? Maybe. Gamma. Sorry. Oh, gamma. Missed that one. Triangle. <laughs> Tri? Theta? Try beta. Oh, delta. Delta. Oh, delta. Try delta. Yeah. I said should try have delta. That's epsilon? Yes. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Zeta? 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 Yep, yep. Zeta. Zeta? I got that one. Hercules. <laughs> I got no idea. <laughs> Hi ho. Hydrogen. What is it? Eta. 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 This one. M hey, Mr. Incredible. I want to say this is I want to say this is Theta. <laughs> Mr. Incredible. Oh, Very it is Theta. Because I had a calculus teacher that loved this was mm. his symbol. So, so now we're going to go sine of Theta. And it was like, what is that? I didn't even know all these things. Mm. I. Therefore, you am. Iota. Iota. Huh. Crypto? <laughs> Krypton. Kappa. Kappa. Oh, shit. Oh, you should have yeah, known that. that is. Kappa, yeah, Kappa. That's true. That's true. I forgot. Earth. Soul. Well, I don't know. Is it that way? I don't know. Venus? No, it's that pop know. came the other way because everything else was the other way. Yeah, I think it's that way. Lambda. Word. Lambda. This is all freaking like mm. shit. Meta? Moo. Moo. In. I don't know. I'm running out of these real quick. I don't know any of these new. Is that new? Yeah. How about that? That's pretty. That looks like the other one. That's a but, fancy one here. Oh, Psy. I read the back. Oh, Z. Z. Psy. O. Omicron. Omicron. Omicron Delta. You could actually do that. Is that like that. Alpha Delta that something, is, something? You should know this mm -hmm. one. Why? Everybody should know pie. this one. Pie. Oh, that's the pie? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm thinking it's some freaking Greek mythology. And here's something, the cake. Something, something. Here's the pie. cake to go with the pie. pie. No, roll. Oh, roll. Because everybody knows roll starts with a P. That's Zeta? Epsilon? Some. What? Summation? It's a math equation symbol. Well, it is. It is that. Sigma. Oh, oh, oh we should have known I, that too. Six I sigma. I should know that. Al yeah, six and then sigma. Here's your last. Alpha, sigma. I don't know what they are. What's the, what are they? Oh, there's five. Psi. Psi. Epsilon, Epsilon Tau. Tau? Let me see Tau. Is it Tau like a Tau? It's a T. T A U. Oh, tau. okay. I'll probably cut all that out. <laughs> we have no clue what they were. Well, we didn't know any of Most of them. We got, we got a Kids few. Kids nowadays we might got know. A few, maybe. If not, they'll get to know something that we didn't know. Alrighty, so now we're going to we're gonna bring ourselves back around to our, our little hot area in Florida here, away from our culinary travel to Greece. One Mediterranean sun to another tropical sun. Well, the question is, which one was your favorite out of all this mess? I probably said the, I don't know, I kind of like the mini breast sticks or the bruschetta. No, <laughs> it's got to be, you got to be the baklava for oh, me. There's, you no, like the there's no question. Which on one do you like? Oh, he likes that weird one. Oh, the, <laughs> the cedar tree. <laughs> and which one did you hate the most? Which one was the weirdest? I thought the one that he ate, that he likes. This well, there was one. a prickly pear that was pretty odd. And yeah, but I think this one was the weirdest. I, yeah, I'd have to go with that one. Yeah, that one. this one was the weirdest. I guess you could still have it both. It could be your favorite, but the weirdest. Yeah, you do, so. yeah, okay. yeah. But would I want to eat this box again? No. <laughs> so if you want to try it, you have two options. One, you can either go to Greece and pick these up off the shelves, or two, you can sit there and contact Universal Yums at universalyums.com and order your own. So. Uh, that's it. Anything? Anything to add? That's it. Yeah.
Have a nice weekend. All right. Enjoy. We'll talk to you next time.